The four pin. Why do we leave it? And how do we convert it? <laughs> the reason it looks like I'm stepping on hot coals there is because I know I, I got away with a, a break there, leaving a simple four pin and not a split cutting through the heart. What happens when you leave a four pin is you're hitting high. The ball's coming in too high in the head pin. It's right on the head pin. The ball actually hits the two pin instead of the one, two, four, seven combination going down smoothly with the ball coming in. The head pin should take out the two. But when you come in high, what happens is the ball clips the right side of the two pin and it causes it to pass in front of the four. That's why you leave a four pin on a high hit. And you can be grateful you're left with a very simple spare instead of a dangerous split. And speaking of the spare, this is how you want to go about converting this four pin spare. Watch this follow through with my right arm after I release the ball. It's one of the simplest spares in all of bowling for a right hander. It's a simple matter of moving seven boards right of your strike position on the approach and rolling your strike ball utilizing the same strike target. Bringing the ball right in at the four pin, you got a little bit of room for error. If you hook the ball at the pin rather than throw a straight ball, I realize that doesn't take the lane condition out of play, but for me it's easier to just hook the ball at it. See, I actually meant to roll it over the eighth board, I roll it over the fifth. I missed three boards right, but because I'm hooking, doesn't matter. Comes in, got a lot of room for error, nails the four pin, nicely done.